Good morning. What's happening? Welcome. Welcome. It's Thursday capture eight. Let's do it. Uh, let's just ignore, delete all of them. And let's get our PvP and trolls out of the way. And uh, then we'll get stuck into capture eight. Should be pretty good. How is everybody? Hopefully everybody as well. <sighs> oh yeah, I forgot that man existed. Oh, we might lose. The, the third time ever that attacking the first the first guy in uh in PvP we might lose maybe not we didn't lose <laughs> it was close it was close good luck on the grind today tanks uh you too even though you don't play anymore roasty roasty chicken JMC uh you change your name I guess it's got a... <clears throat> has things. Iconic misses you. It's gonna get a drink while this is going on. Should've done it before uh, stream, but apparently I'm done. Drink has been achieved. <clears throat> Hi, Bit Heroes! <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Alright, so Thursday capture 8, uh, we are going for Ragnar and Tilk, as we have done the last two um, capture rates. but, oh no, <coughs> I just dropped an empty bottle of water, it's fine. Uh, Sunday is going to be a big one. On Sunday, we have a super scroll, and we have three raid shard baskets. Um, so hopefully we can get something good. Zill, what's going on, man? Uh, I don't know whether we'll get through three Raid Shard Baskets on stream, because that's a long-ass time. Um, so we'll see how we go. But, um, we'll, we'll give it a Red Hot go, right? Peanut butter and, and jelly and your stream. Nice. Nice to... Should be pretty good. Uh, so, I did end up getting a set piece, which was lucky. Uh, this early on in the in the, um, in the the raids, tiers, whatever. For free to play. It's pretty good. I got this bad boy. Where is he? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. This guy. Vile Hell. It's pretty good. Um, and then with the Super Scroll that I had from, uh, what was it, Saturday when it came out. I did World Boss a bunch, and I got this and two of these. Uh, no, this and this and two of these from the World Boss, and then I've got this from Raid and then this from Raid. So this is all I've got so far in um, just under a week for free to play is pretty good. So this and this and this was all was all Super Scroll World Boss, um, which and because I used all of my energy things. I thought I'd use them all while I was on, um, while I had the Super Scroll active because otherwise it was kind of a waste of one to just do nine raids and um you know energy and that was it so i thought well i may as well do it all so i did that and then during the week uh i've been trying to do heroic i've been able to do it about 50 percent of the time and then now my team's upgraded a little bit i've been able to do it about 75 percent of the time um and so i yeah i ended up getting one legendary and one set so that's good one set down three to go and uh, then we just need to save up a absolute shit ton of um, whatever the material is to upgrade them. Should be pretty good. Uh, all I've gotten so far is a leg. Yeah, yeah, I've done alright actually. My, my RNG has been better than it usually is. Um, so what's that? Five, five le legendaries in a set? So um, I'm, not, I'm not exchanging any of the legendaries yet. Uh, just in case or, or whatever because the set piece the set the DPS set I should say which is the only thing set I'm gonna get uh, is main hand offhand helmet and 
body. I'm pretty sure it's these four, which means these two are free to do whatever. So this we won't upgrade. This will upgrade first. Uh, so we need to get a ring of which we have a chest piece and a chest piece. So we can get rid of this because uh, we're going to keep this, right? Uh, a helmet we could we could replace. If we can't get the, the set piece helmet for ages, we could replace that because this is just a normal legendary. This can go die in a fire because it's just a weapon, as is this. So we can get rid of these four right now if we wanted to, but we're not going to be able to upgrade anything just yet. So there's no real point, and there's no real point replacing this with this. Uh, uh, unupgraded. If we fully upgrade it, then we'll replace it because um, this is still going to be more TS and it's still going to have the benefit of the mythic. So, you know, when we get two set pieces, probably worth it for that 1% quad strike over 2% increased damage probably not worth it but uh we'll have to see you know if we get it if we get the other set piece we get is um one of these two then that would be really good and then the third set piece but is this one one of the other two of these good would be really good because our weapon's still nice even though i hate it the look of it it's still nice and then that might be the last set piece upgrade we'll just have to see what drops and uh how lucky we get and stuff so yeah but i did get both of the uh the helmet and the chest piece from world boss uh, which is what this diving suit cosmetic looks like. So it looks kind of funny. I've been using it for a few days. I thought I'd use it on stream to showcase what it looked like for anyone that was interested if they haven't seen it themselves. <clears throat> uh, I found Lucy in Trials and not much else. I don't know what Lucy is. Uh, World Boss Extermination 11. That's the place to get materials, just my opinion. Yeah, that's I've been doing it pretty hard. Oh, I found luck in Trials and not much else. Right, I see. I never get anything from Trials, ever. Gauntlet, like, I never get anything good, ever. I did I did 680 Trials Gauntlet for about at least two, maybe two and a half months and didn't get one piece of Merciless. Or, or the um, Melvin, like, I literally, I don't even think I got a Legendary. Maybe I got, like, one Legendary from 680. Like, just, I never have any, any luck at all with Trials Gauntlet, ever. Uh, your chicken is drowning. It needs a helm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, also, I've got my chicken in... This is like my webcam dimensions on, on this, on BitHeroes are a bit different to my webcam dimensions on like what, the PS4 and stuff. But there is a chicken like here, you can see. Uh, I'm shaking the desk at the moment, which is not the best. I need to get... Because this is a wardrobe. All here is a wardrobe. Um, I'm assuming you can see. You can't see that because I was doing it on the wrong place <laughs> I was doing it on OBS which makes no sense here is the chicken right this little guy here um, but this whole area like that whole thing behind me which you can't see because my cursor is going behind my webcam is um, a wardrobe uh, so I can't really put anything in front of that otherwise I'd put my um, I've, I've talked about this before I put my uh, my bookshelf back there but maybe I could put just like a little stand or something so I can prop that chicken up so you can see him. Because he's like the mascot. Be pretty good. Uh, I want to try something quickly. I'm going to have to alt tab, so bear with me. Because this should be showing up. And it's not. Oh, I know why. I know why. No, I don't know why. Never mind. Never mind. It's not important. I don't know why it's not. I've got an FPS counter and it should be showing up, but it's not. I have one on the top right hand corner, um, but my webcam's missing it. There's usually one up here as well, but it's not showing up at the moment. But I, I, I don't know why. <laughs> Hang on. Let me try again. Did that fix it? It did not. Oh, I give up. Uh, am I still free to play? Uh, 100%. Never spent a cent. Still 100% free to play. <clears throat> so yeah, for free to play, I've had, I've had pretty good luck so far. To get like five legendaries and a set piece in the first week, it's been pretty good. Uh, usually I have absolutely horseshit RNG. Uh, as I was just saying, two two plus months, maybe even three months of doing 680, 
Trials Gauntlet and didn't get one set piece or, or mythic or anything. It's pretty bad. Um, but you know, see how we go. If if I get the one set piece and then I don't ever get another one, that would suck. But we'll see. Oh, I've got to turn on the text as well. There we go. What do I spend my guild bucks on and why? Uh, we, uh, I, I, I ran Iconic, the, the guild I'm in, for about a year and a half. Um, and I put all of the guild points, guild bucks we had into raid shard baskets, max that out to nine. And then um, tickets, tokens, and badges. I got up to 14. Uh, and then recently, um, Eagle has taken back over ownership. And so we've made tickets, tokens, and badges up to 15. So we've maxed out. I'll show you. Um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Okay, so tickets maxed, tokens maxed, badges maxed, raid shards maxed. So we have 15 of each of these, 15 uh, PvP, 15 Trials Gauntlet, 15 Expedition, Guild War, Invasion, whatever. Uh, we have 5 extra Shard Bastards, so we have 9 Shards. Um, we've put a few into Guild Members, and now we're working on um, Experience. We were doing Item Find, but we've, we've left that alone and we're going to get Experience. Uh, but I recommend, getting, I, I recommend getting Raid Shards, like the first thing you get is Raid Shards, because the more Raids you can do, the better, right? Um, and then these aren't as important because they don't actually give you more things to do. They don't give you more, um, more like badges and stuff to, to do really. It's just, you ha you can do more without having to log in for natural regen, if that makes sense. So if you have five, say you start off with five, if you do those five, you just log back in like an hour and a half later or something and you've got five again and you can do it again. And then you log back in an hour and a half and you can do another five again whatever it be, whatever the, the time being. Getting to 15 just means you can do three in a row. It doesn't actually improve the amount of these you can actually do. It just means you can do three in a row without having to wait for regen. So it's handy, but they're not that, that important. Um, but raid shard baskets are super important. The more raids you can have, the better. Uh, which is good. Uh, what are we doing now? But now we're doing, whoops. Now we're doing capture eight. So let's swap that over. Ooh, Black Omen. And let's get going. Uh, this is going to be the tier for your RNG, RNG to shine. You reckon? I don't know, man. I don't know. How about honor then? What do you spend that on? Uh, I spend all of my honor, pretty much all of my honor on um, badges. So I'll show you. Guild. Uh, shop. So I have four, five, bleh, 450k right now. The badge pouch costs 15 um, k. Gives you five badges, which is one um, one GVG or invasion or expedition run at five badges, like the max badges you can build, uh, do. It gives you one run of any of them. I recommend saving them for expedition, but I buy these so that when an expedition comes around where I want loot from. Uh, I can then save up all of them and then pr um, put, put them all, like proc them all when that expedition comes around and then have a shitload of badges to use. So at the moment I have 49. So uh, that's an extra 49 ex expeditions I can do at max max level, or like max um, XP and, and item find and all that sort of stuff. Uh, bonuses. So that's what I recommend doing. Alternatively, you could buy um, energy potions instead. So you could go down here and buy this. This gives you 50 energy, which will let you do two and a half world boss runs, or it will let you do almost two um, heroic dungeons, or two of these together can be traded in to get one raid shard, because uh, you can trade 100 energy to get one raid shard. Um, but I feel like badges are better. So I spend I spend every single badge I have on, uh, every single guild thingy on, on badges. That's what I do personally. 
uh, everything else in there isn't worth it. So like potions and stuff you can buy for gold. So don't, and that's like really expensive. So don't worry about that. All of the pet and accessories in the guild shop are shit. So I wouldn't worry about them either. Um, if you're early game, I mean, you can, you can if you want to, or you can buy them for cosmetics or something, but they're actually pretty bad. This is not worth it at all. A hundred, um, a hundred thousand guild honor for like a 24 hour 50% buff is not worth it. So yeah, everything else is kind of shit. I would just pick one of these two and uh, depending on what you want, like if you want to run an absolute crap ton of world boss one day or something, then you could buy these. But generally I feel like the badges are the better way to go. Hope I get some drops during your stream. Uh, you will, 100%. I'm doing world boss and raids tonight on a super scroll. Nice. Uh, is it, isn't it better to go energy? It, it depends what you want to do. It depends what you want to do. So like expeditions have really good loot. They have really good familiars. They have really good fusions and stuff. Um, so it depends, it depends what you want. If you're really, really, really trying to get a certain schematic. So like I wanted the Yemek schematic from the Yemek portal. So I, I dropped like a, I bought a bunch of those badge pouches and used like 50 of them say, and I had 50 more expeditions to run. So 50 more chances of getting that, that schematic. I didn't get it. Or you could do energy and just, you know, use 50 energy potions, um, which give you 50 energy. So whatever that is, two and a half K worth of energy. And then you could just run world bosses for ages. It, it all depends on what you want, but one of those two depends on, depends on what, what one you want to use. But one of those two would be the things I would spend the, the guild bucks on. I wouldn't spend them on anything else. Uh, I finally got my cosmetic helm wearing it now. I was pretty excited. All right, I'll take a look. My problem with expeditions is you hardly get any unique material. Well, that's the other thing, right? If you need so diffuse um, fatty, for instance, you need bacon. Um, the more of that that portal you do, the more bacon you're gonna get. Yeah, it's not much, but it's still more than not doing it. It's the same thing with world boss. Like at the moment, um, I need. I'm trying to f fuse a uh, glados or whatever the hell its name is, and so I need. Where's materials? I need a bunch of the extermination hobbit feet, effectively, which is this stuff neural net roms uh, you need 15 to fuse it once uh so to max it out to plus five it you need 75 of these so you know doing a shitload of world boss to get them that's the only way you're going to get it is to get them if you need a heap of bacon the only way to get the bacon is to do that raid uh, is to do that extermination sorry what the hell is this okay um you know you, you do get rewards at the end of expeditions and stuff, depending on how, how you placed and, and how many points you got and all the rest of it, you'll get like 150 of each of them and, or something like that. Um, but yeah, you don't get many, but it's, you know, you have to do what you have to do to get them. So if you need them, that's, that's the way to do it. Um, I can't read that blue name. Striker. Striker. Welcome, dude. What's going on? You need 90 to get the plus, uh, plus five. Oh, I thought it was 75 and I didn't actually do the math. Oh, it's 75 to make, to, to do plus five. Yeah. And then you need another 15 to actually make it first. That makes sense. Well, I'm a ninth of the way there as far as those go. go. And I'm, uh, I think I have two tilks. I think, I think, I think I caught one off camera. I believe I could be wrong there actually. No, I do. I have two. So I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. What one, one ninth of the way there with the, those neural thingies and one sixth of almost one sixth of the way there with Tilk. So I'm, I'm fucking ages away. Now the only reason I have enough bacon to potentially max out Zvord is because bacon was used in two expeditions. It was, yeah. I kind of wish they'd use materials, reuse materials more often instead of every portal having, uh, being unique. Yes, I agree. I 100% agree. And that we've, we've talked about that with the expeditions before. That bringing out new content is all great and all, but uh, if you want to fuse something or, you know, spend all of your, um, like free to play at least, spend all of your badges on one extermination to get whatever it is. By the time another extermination comes around, you don't have the materials to go push on that as well. And if it's new, there's going to be new shit and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so yeah, if they reuse those materials, it would make it a lot easier. So if you do have a schematic you want to use, uh, even if you can't get a new schematic that you want to use for something in a new portal or something, at least you can get those materials. That would be pretty good. 
Um, did you get the schematic for glass? I did. I didn't even know I got it. Uh, Viking said, hey, you got that ages ago. Why aren't you working on it? And I'm like, didn't even realize I got it. Because I did extermination ex um, uh, well boss for like one day when it came out. And then I used, I was just doing uh, all my, all of my energy on um, capture rate before the new content came out. So for like the two months before the new content came out, every single energy piece of energy I had, speaking of which, I used on capture rate. So I only did, I only did uh, that extermination thing for one day just to see what was in there. And I just got lucky and got it in, in that one day. So yeah, I didn't even realize I had it, <clears throat> to be honest. The wrong damn schematic, always. What did you get? You got, so you got something on stream. Of course you did. What did you get? Have you, you don't have everything available there, right? You still need a bunch of, um, Teal'ks and stuff. Quag, Quags. Oh yeah, we've got that turned on. I don't, I don't know what Quags is, but, um, I assume it's good. If it's a schematic, it's probably good. And declined duplicates. There we go. One schematic left in World Boss Extermination, it's one the one the one I need. <laughs> well, look, you can't be too upset. Your RNG is ridiculous, right? You get like all the things, so <clears throat> you can't be upset that you're not getting one thing when you get all the other things. And there is a damn for you, that is very true. I got all the others, the one I need last. Fuck my life, yeah. Well, as I said, you know, you get you get mythics and sets and all that sort of stuff. <clears throat> Welcome to the, the free-to-play mentality, right? It's just like, ah, oh, shit, I need this one thing. Like, I need this one last set piece. <laughs> Not like a schematic, I just need one piece of gear, and you can't get it. It's pretty good. Good old bit heroes. It's gonna be happy for you, and not share my raindrops. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, I talked to you yesterday, I think it was. And um, you hadn't got a, a set piece at all yet. So what, have you got like the whole set twice now? But that's the thing, right? Bub gores and ultra gores and all this sort of stuff. Like, of course you're gonna, people are gonna get like super loot and all that doing that. Running on 25%, you, you, you're pretty, uh, you got a pretty low chance of getting something. Uh... Same set piece you have, and the Mythic Bow. Oh, so the Mythic Bow is from, um... Oh, I need to look you up as well. The Mythic Bow is from the raid. Because Snoo, Snoo was in, um, stream before. And he was talking about... He had the, he got the Mythic Bow, but... Um... He got the Mythic Bow, but he... Uh... Thingied it. Exchanged it for Mythic Material. Because he doesn't need it. Uh, oh, this helmet. Right, okay. That's the helmet you wanted. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I've grinded for Walkham Skem the entire time I've played and no luck. <laughs> Do the Warty Dungeon over and over and over. Uh, what is the bow, Zill? What's the what's the stats and stuff on it? Can you put it on um, and use it its, its own cosmetic so I can look at the stats and what it looks like? You have it on if you want to look at it. Okay, perfect. Well, I don't think we're friends anymore because you were in the guild and you left and I don't think we've added each other since. Um, so we probably need to rectify that. You've been offline for a day. Uh, you're a backup. Joe Dizzle. Uh, I can't remember if he's got an excuse. But I've had him on my friends list for like years, so I feel bad. We'll do that for now, 98. Um, Roasty. And I need to add, um, Splooshy also left <coughs> the guild, so I need to add you both. Roasty, chicken. Two percent increase. Oh, you maxed it out already? What are you doing, man? You're OP. Um, two percent increased damage. Each hit on an enemy increases this bonus by one. Oh yeah, that's right. Can you, can you turn it off so I can see what it looks like? Like, turn off the, um, the thingy? The cosmetic? Uh, 
you've given up at this point, it's all good. Bop got really strong. Well, legend, welcome in. Uh, Bop's always been strong. He's in my raid team right now. Uh, I was trying him and Zill, Zill said try me or Bop out, uh, him or Bop out, so I've just been like swapping him around. Um, and at the moment Bop's in there, but... Splooshy left too, yeah. Um, people, some people aren't happy with the way Iconic's being run at the moment. Uh, Eagle's been focusing on his main, like, pretty much full time, and so it hasn't really been around very much. And so we had like a bunch of guild bucks, we had like 2,000 guild bucks that weren't being spent, and he just hasn't been very active in all the rest of it, and so people are just like, well, I'm going to move somewhere where it's more active type thing, so, I mean, it is what it is, right? <clears throat> so I've had a, I've had a chat to Eagle and whatnot. We still got really good perks and stuff, so... He, it, um, Sploosh just was a bit annoyed that Eagle wasn't active. And he left. He's like, well, if the guild is not active, I'm going to go elsewhere. But everyone else is active and we got really good perks and stuff. So I didn't fully understand it. I mean, I understood it like um, principle wise, but I didn't understand leaving a guild with, with full perks. Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, we've been bleeding members. Yeah, a lot of people aren't happy with the management, with the leadership type thing. But I'm, tr I'm trying to get onto Eagle. I'm trying to, you know be the mediator and speak speak the peace, but uh, I don't know, he's so focused on his main, which is fair enough. So, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, if he gave if he gave me leadership back, I could do all this stuff, but it's his guild, so it's fair enough, but he, yeah, he does need to be a little bit more involved, I agree. Um, it's on now, okay. Uh, is Elias here, Elias? No, he's not, he went to bed. Um, Frosty Triken. Oh shit, that looks alright. It, it, it kind of looks weird, but it looks alright at the same time. If with the, like the fire set, it might look better. But uh, it, it looks cool, but it doesn't suit... I'm going to say it doesn't suit a lot of things. It might suit... It might suit this set. Where is it? Uh, God, I hate this. This set, alright? Might look alright with that. I don't know. Uh, thanks, by the way. Oliver, welcome. Uh, so, yeah, we, we anyone that's looking for a new guild home with max perks, um, preferably in tier 11, but uh, at this point, we'll, we'll be looking basically for any, like, tier 10, tier 11, like, highish, highish tiered, high, highish level people. Um, then Iconic is recruiting. I'm going to put a recruitment post and uh, stuff on the the Bit Heroes uh, Facebook page, like the um, the you know fan page thingy majiggy. I don't know if I can post it. You know now, now there's the like the official Bit Heroes um, the official Bit Heroes Discord. I don't think you can post like recruitment stuff in there, um, but I will be posting a recruitment thingy on uh, Facebook and stuff. But if anyone's interested in joining Iconic and stuff, you can always apply and then I can, you know, let you know if yes or no type thing. Um, because I've got to go through Eagle. I've got to make sure that he signs off at it and stuff. He's the leader, even though he's not that active at the moment. Um, you know, I can't I can't do everything without permission type thing. So, but I'll, I'll, I'll try my best. Um, can I add you? Can I join me? Join me in Iconic, you mean? You can in guild related? Okay. Beba Coco, welcome. Uh, yeah, so if anyone's looking looking for a new home with max perks, um, then let me know. No bit heroes. Can you join me in bit as in on my friends list? Is that what you mean? Um, I have one free slot, but I need to add Splooshy because he left the guild. Um, what's your what's your name? What's your in-game name? I'll take a look. If I get a free like one free slot, I can add you. Um, I can definitely add you. But the, the slot I have now is kind of reserved for Splooshy. Although I could add him later, I guess. 
Uh, yeah, what's, what's your, um... What's your name, yeah? Oh, Viking getting Zul, nice. <laughs> Viking, have you got Bob? What do you recommend in Raid 8? I've been having some issues at 31 TS, but still get killed at boss. Uh, I, I'm the same, man. I'm the same. I got a really good guild, uh, really good uh, raid team. Apart from myself, I'm the, I'm the scrub. But I'm using, I'm using take, take, tank, bait, DPS, DPS, bait, is what I'm using. Um, I know a lot of people are using tank, bait, DPS, bait, tank. Um, but I'm using uh, because I would be the DPS, and I'm not that strong be free to play and all that sort of stuff. I need another DPS in there. So uh, my raid team, I'll show you my raid team that I'm running raid one on because it doesn't really matter. And that's what I'm running. And at the moment I'm completing it majority of the time. Uh, once I get a little bit stronger, it'll, it'll be a lot easier. And once everyone in my raid team gets their full sets and stuff, it'll be like a cakewalk. But at 31, 31K, you shouldn't have that many issues. Uh, similar to me, you should be able to um, kill it like a fair amount of the time the boss does destroy you there i agree depends what the boss is um what the boss is partnered with as well which fan the, the boss is partnered with uh tank bait dps dps yeah that's what i'm doing basically uh i do he's one of my only good dps there okay i'm my dps i'm not awful but i have tier 10 arsenal yeah that's good dude are you going to up to you? Like, are you, are you free to play or you pay to win or you just pay for convenience or that type of thing? Uh, Arsenal's pretty good. Okay, hang on. Let me, let me, let me quickly check. Er. Slash V. Uh, Len. Ah, Kun. This? You're level nine? I think camo is better. You pay to win. A bit of a whale, to be honest. <laughs> but bad, bad, bad RNG. Okay. Is this you? Len Lemar Kun? Like, level 9? Um, I can add you, but uh, you, you need to make sure that you don't go offline. I, I need to make sure this is you before I add it. Um... Make sure you don't go offline for more than 24 hours, or you'll lose your spot. I need to grind up my previous gear. Is this you? Is this you at level 9? Grind up your previous gear. What do you mean? You're like, you're level 9. Okay, well get, get back to me if that's you. That's you. What do you mean grind up your previous gear? <laughs> you're level 9. Okay, look. Uh, I will add you. But make sure you don't go offline for more than 24 hours. Because a lot of new people's play, uh, new, a lot of new players play and then either just give up on the game entirely or, you know, just log in once every few days and stuff. And I've got to be fair and, and keep my friend slots open to 24 hour type stuff. Uh, striker. I'm pretty sure that's mine. Striker. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any friend slots left now, but let's look you up anyway. S T R I. Is that it? No. Did I spell it right? S T R I K A A A. Yeah, no, that doesn't exi uh, exist. Maybe it's two A's. Or four. We'll have two more goes. S T R I K A. Nope. And we'll try five. Four, I should say. S T R I K A A A A. There you go. Is that you? I assume that's you. Um, you're always playing non-stop? Alright, as soon as I get a spot, I'll add you, man. I'll add you. Uh, let me send you a friend's request. And then uh, just try and accepting it once in a while. And if I'm not full, you'll get it. And then let's quickly look up. Uh, cinematic Rant 3. Did I spell that right? No, I did not. If it turns out. Cinematic 
tree in three. Looking good. <sighs> Looking good. Uh, wasting so many gems, getting a legendary pet, still no luck. <laughs> yeah, preach into the choir there, pal. <laughs> I've spent at least, hang on, let me do the math, at least 110,000 gems as free to play on accessory boxes and, and pets, trying to get a legendary of each. Still only have a legendary accessory. So yeah. And think about 110,000 plus, I don't know how many, but 110,000 plus gems uh, is a lot. As free to play, you can imagine how much of a pain in the ass that is. You have almost 5,000 mats. Oh shit. Yeah, so Striker, just keep just keep trying to add me every every day or two or whatever. Just keep clicking accept. And because it, it'll say like this friend has max players, da 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 da. Um, and eventually you'll get in. Because if you know, say like there's three people. Like today there was two. Say there's three people that go offline for 24 hours. I'll just boot them all, and then there's three three slots open, and I give my slots away to people on stream and stuff. So by the time I get around to streaming, usually I've got like one or two or maybe three slots. Uh, I started Beat Hero's account. I don't need to add. Hang on. I started a Beat Hero's account. I don't need you to add me, but I can get some suggestions. I literally knew nothing about the game so far. Uh, there's there's two I can, and other people can in chat and stuff. But there's so many things to cover. Uh, if you have specific questions, we can go over them. Uh, Madman, Cyan Madman, welcome man. Cyan Madman, welcome man. Uh, if you have specific questions, we can go over it. But there's so much to cover. Uh, I I recommend, yeah, I recommend watching my guide videos. Um, I have a fairly good. Uh, really good actually um, ratio of people saying that they're helpful so a lot of people have got help like I think they're up to I don't know in the in the, the first one is in the 70,000 views I think somewhere in there um, and I've got literally thousands of people have said thank you so much for these guys they're really helpful da 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 so I would recommend watching them because they seem to have helped a lot of people um, but if you have a specific question right now, uh, Chook helped me a ton when I got into bit, uh, back into, yeah, let's see, there you go, nice. Just, uh, speed, health, and attack, what should I put all my stuff into? It doesn't really, t it doesn't really matter too much, because you can just adjust your gear. You can reforge your gear and stuff into different stats, but just put it all into power. Just put everything into power, and then, um, you can adjust your stats from there. If you've already put points into other things it doesn't matter don't worry about resetting it but from now on just put all your points into power uh helped you a ton when you got back into bit heroes near level 320 nice he also lays eggs during the video <laughs> i'm trying hard to get cramps i spent 260 energy keep trying man keep trying in reality 260 energy is uh is not much what's that 260 divided by three <laughs> It's what, that's like 10 raid, 10 dungeons or so. No, nine, nine, eight and a bit, something like that. That's nothing, man. It is a rare, so he should be, he should be coming up for persuasion a bit. But um, if you get frustrated not getting something after eight dungeons, um, I'd probably quit the game now because <laughs> uh, it only gets more and more frustrating. Transom Ballin is super helpful. It's a grind, but it's not. Yeah, it's the 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 sooner you get, um, the sooner you get stabled plus five tramps and ball end, the better, because they both will get you to tier seven. You you won't have to worry about you uh, as a DPS at least. You won't have to worry about familiars again for like five tiers. <clears throat> so yeah, getting them is super super helpful. Uh, when can I use hyper shards? I have three K. If they craft. I don't know if they are crafting, but I'm not sure when I can use them. Is it a certain legendary gear? Um, oh, you have three, not 3k. I was going to say, how the hell do you have 3,000? Don't... 
the, the long answer is don't. So if you, like you're in raid 2, right? So if you upgrade, if you spend time getting those hyper shards and, and you know, doing raids over and over and over again, da 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 to upgrade your legendaries, it's a giant waste of time because as soon as you get to raid 3, you're just going to replace them anyway. Uh, so basically every tier, apart from max tier, there's not really that much point in grinding it out just to get the materials to upgrade your legendaries. If you get them naturally and you can upgrade a, a, a legendary just from getting um, them naturally, then go, go ahead and do so. But grinding out a previous, like a lower leveled raid to upgrade legendaries is a really bad idea. Because as soon as you get to the next raid or the next tier, you're just going to up, um, upgrade them and, and lose them anyway. You know, get like rares will be, um, no, sorry, maxed common, uh, maxed epics will be stronger than like a, 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 a legendary that's upgraded like one or two times. So yeah, don't worry too much about legendaries. Or, or sets or mythics or anything in previous tiers. They're just not worth it. <clears throat> um, it's weird say black bo saying black boy. Hang on. The first box or pet accessory thing I got was an epic. And black boy, I got pissed. It's weird saying black boy. Right. Yeah, if you the first pet or accessory thing you got an epic, that's really lucky. Is this dream sticking for everybody? Uh, first time you might get stuck is tier 7. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Borland and, uh... Shramps and Borland will get you to tier 7. We talked about this in the past 2 streams, I think. Maybe even the past 3. Uh, in, in tier 7, you can get, um... Scorpius, which fuses into Scort. That will be the tank that replaces Shramps. And in tier 4, you can get Rexy, who will fuse into Remy T, and that will replace Borland. Uh, but... But Tramps and Ballan will get you to uh, to tier seven, and then once you're in tier seven, you can work on Scort and Remy T, and then they'll get you through the end game, and then you can start working on the legendaries. Um, and then once you try to get into tier eight, you might want a couple of legendaries. Yeah, so that's what I mean. Like if you can if you can upgrade and max a legendary or two or whatever it is, just by doing the raids and getting enough legendaries to break down to get the materials to upgrade one then go for it but don't make it habit of just doing those raids over and over and over and over and over again to max out your legendaries before moving on if you can move on then do so because upgrading them you're just going to replace them and it's, it's just a giant waste of time <clears throat> we haven't had one persuasion yet have we um uh, remy t and Scorp can get you to tier 10 yeah easy if they're maxed and, and, and stabled and augments and stuff. Easy. I'm using Junior as a tank. Uh, Junior's not that great. Gram uh, Shramps is... Shramps is the best tank you can have. Like early game. Until you get to ra raid 7 or something. <laughs> Just max out Shramps. And max out Ballin and you'll, you won't have any issues. The only issues you'll have is maybe, maybe your, your accessory and pet or your TS or something. But as far as um, familiars go, if you have max tramps and max ball end, you won't have any familiar issues. So just get max tramps, max ball end, make that a priority, and then you're good for ages. So rather than get get them and at at base and then struggle, like you get to like you know tier four and you're like ah shit I can't do this, I'm gonna have to go. just get it all done one and done right now, and then you don't have to worry about it. Uh, if you get lucky in the Yeti dungeon, Yobo is a good tank. He is, yeah. But um, that's what I recommended in my guides, getting Yobo and Squibbo. But that was before augments existed. So um, stabling, plus five stabling something with augments is going to be stronger than just a Yobo. Unless you can stable Yobo five times, in which case do that. Because then you're a third of the way through um, a plus five Bobadon, which is pretty good. Yobo is better than Tramps, but the gears are hard to get. Yeah, I still think a, a plus five Tramps with Augments is stronger than a, just a normal Yobo, though. And the gears are a pain just because they can drop literally anywhere. You can't farm them. <clears throat> Look at this guy. Like, we can do the comparison. Yobo with augments can get you to plus uh, tier 11. Yeah, probably. 
And then you're, you're um, a fifth of the way, a third of the way, sorry, to plus five Bobadum as well, which is really nice, especially for free to play. Which is, I'm still trying to get fucking plus five Bobadum. But if, see, if I was starting the game right now, knowing the augments and all that sort of stuff, then I would go ham on trying to stable stuff. But back in the day, I, I, I focused on familiars and I got a bunch of them. Uh, but then none of them are stable. They're all just like, just what they are. I think I have a plus one Robbie, which is hilarious, and a plus one Roleska. But everything else is just base. Like I've got a base Oxlaroth, I've got a base Meaty, I've got a base Yorlag, I've got a base Remraway, a base Korg, a base Wimbo. Um, I got all these legendaries that I fused, but I never bothered stabling them because back in the day you stabled them and you got like a little bit of TS. So it kind of wasn't really that worth it. But now with augments and stuff, it's super worth it. So back in the day, if I had known about augments and all that, I would have, I would have made a, a big push to plus five my um my Bobadon earlier. I have plus five Walkham though, so that's really good. So we can do we can do the comparison, right? So it, it's not gonna, it won't be the same for you because it goes off your TS and everything. But if we take a look at Yobbo, because I think I have one, I think I have two actually, waiting for the the Ragnars to fuse them. No, I have, uh, yeah, I have five Yetis. Where the hell is he? Fuck, this is so annoying. Yobbo, where are you, bitch? Where is he? Should he, he should be here somewhere, no? Further down, maybe? He can't be down here. Where the hell is he? I cannot seize him. There he is. Okay, I don't. I don't have any, as it turns out. Um, but he has... What's that? 1,700, 1,700, 1,200, we'll say. Uh, and then if we go to Shramps... Wherever he is. Uh, 1,000, 2,800, and uh, 7,804. Uh, 784, sorry. So he's tankier by about 1,000. He does less damage, but who cares? He's a tank. He has 30% block. Yobo has 45% uh, block. But with the augments um, on Shramps, if you were to put augments and stuff, you could put whatever augments you want, and they would, they would, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Multiply. So if we take a look here, if we've, we've got augments on fatty, as just a one-off fatty, wherever he is, uh, legendary. Where is he? Here we go. So he's got augments. So this one, for instance, is 3.6% redirect. This one is 1.8% increased damage. If you look here on my Walkham, he's plus five. So all of these are like, this is 10.2% instead of like 1.8. Not the same thing, but relative, you know, 30% chance to attack for this instead of like 5% chance. Um, increased by 7.2 instead of like maybe 0.8 or something like that. So it's much stronger when you stable something. So I think this guy's got redirect, doesn't he? See? Okay, so instead of 3.6 redirect, this is plus 3, and it's 15.2% redirect. Um, so every augment you put in is a set amount, and then... Okay, restart and update to stay in support. Okay. Uh, go away. Okay, there we go. Uh, the augments will multiply and exponentially get better with every um, with every stable you do. So a, a, a plus five stable of tramps is better than a yobbo. But if you were to plus like three yobbo or something with augments, it's probably better than a plus five tramps. Would be plus better than a plus five tramps. So it depends what you want to do. But a plus five tramps with augments is strong enough to to get you pretty far. Uh, I'd say a plus five Yobo, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Shramps, and who else? Uh, Ballan, Ballan is the healer. So we'll go have a look at that. So Shramps is, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah. 
He has 30% block chance. Uh, and then Borlan here has 15% damage. So Shramps has his skills. He just has a spread heal for teammates for one SP. And he just has a deal damage to furthest enemy. He, he's just a meat shield. 30% block meat shield. He doesn't really do that hell of a lot. You can spread heal with him if you want. Whatever. Borlan has 15% damage. So all his skills do 15% more of what he does. He has a spread heal as well. So the, again, these numbers won't be di will be different for you because it all works off your TS and all that sort of stuff. Um, but you can see here, he's got a bunch of power here. And so his heals are quite big and there's, there's spread heal. So it spreads out across everybody in your team. So you've got the, the meat shield up at the front that's just taking little damage. You've got this guy at the back healing everybody uh, or in the middle healing everybody. You got, you've got yourself at the back doing damage or, or whatnot. So these two are the ones you want early game and max plus five of them like I have here and then chuck augments in them. That's my recommendation. <clears throat> and you can get them both by rate, uh, by zone 2, by tier 2. So you can get Ball and in zone 1. He's from dungeon 2 and dungeon 3 of zone 1. You can get both of the things you need to make Ball in. And for Shramps, it's dungeon one, uh, dungeon 2 of zone 1 and dungeon 2 of zone 2. You can get the things you need to make Shramps. So if you max them out early, going into tier 3, having plus 5 of each of them, you'll just shit in every single flag and you won't have any issues because the, the amount of times I get comments on YouTube and stuff about like I'm stuck on this flag how do I pass it and I'm like I don't know which flags are which because I completed them so long ago and then they'll be like I'm stuck on Mega Goose or something I'm like I don't know what Mega Goose is like I completed all that shit so long ago or, or Mega Dino or whatever it is I'm like I don't know which flags they are but whatever the, the flag is it's always the same answer it's either your TS, your familiars, or your accessory and pet. They're the three things that make a difference. So if your TS is too low, you need to go back to the highest um, dungeon you can do on Heroic. Um, and of that tier. And just farm out um, uh, epics and max out those epics. And you'll have the highest TS for that tier. And then you need to have good familiars, so a plus five tramps and ball land with augments will we'll do the job. And then you need to check that you have the right accessory and pet. So if you have, uh, if you're a DPS and you have like a tank accessory, it's not going to help you much. And you want a defensive pet, not an offensive pet, because defensive pet will keep, help keep you alive. If you're alive, you can do damage. If you're dead, you can't do damage. So a defensive pet is better. A lot of people go early game new plays and stuff. They go offensive pets because they're like, oh, I want to do more damage, but then they die easier. Defensive pet, you're going to be doing slightly less damage, but you're going to stay alive longer. So you want an offensive accessory and you want a defensive pet. And then um, you want to get at least a rare of each. Uh, so if you go to the shop, what's on sale at the moment? Okay, not what we want. If you go to the shop and you go, wait till they go on sale as well. Don't buy them when they're not on sale. But you can see here, a small defensive pet egg generates one random pet. Right, and you're going to get one of these random things. And these are the odds of getting it. So you've got a 90% chance of getting a common pet. You've got an 8% chance of, 9% uh, chance of getting a rare, a 1% chance of getting an epic, and a 0.1% chance of getting a legendary. So if you... <laughs> Josh, thanks man. Enjoy your sick chicken. Appreciate it. Check it out. He's got a sick chicken. He doesn't have... Oh no, that's William. He should have a sick chicken. Where is he? There it is. It's the sick chicken. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's 90% chance you're going to get a common. Uh, and commons aren't good. Whereas if you wait and you get a large defensive pet egg, you are guaranteed at least one rare. So even though it costs five times more, and on sale they're like 800, 850 gems or something, you're guaranteed a rare, and rares are what, like rare and above is what you want. And you now have a 11.8% chance of getting an epic or a 3.4% chance of getting a, a, a legendary. And instead of just getting the one pet here, it contains one random pet. This, you get five. You get five randoms of, of any of these, but you're guaranteed to get a rare. So you might get the one guaranteed rare and you might get four commons, or you might get the one guaranteed rare and you might get a legendary or one gar guaranteed rare and an epic, or you might get one guaranteed rare and then like another two rares. Doesn't. You know, it's all random, whatever. 
but you're guaranteed to get a rare and that's what you want so make sure that you have a rare accessory and a rare pet so just buy a, um, a, pe a large defensive pet egg and a large offensive uh, accessory box get your rares or above make sure you have good familiars make sure your ts is up to scratch and then flags don't become a problem anymore and uh that's pretty much it uh mega goose is so annoying uh, see i don't know I, I guess he is kitsy kitsy katsy i think that's your name it's hard to read i'm sure he, i'm sure he was but yeah like i said I, I passed it so long ago i don't remember what any of those bosses are um but th those are the those are the reasons why people can't can't get past the flags uh mech wolf welcome man uh do, 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 Yours is a two day kick timer. It's nice of you. Nothing was hard for you at that point. <laughs> no. Well, that's the thing. When you, when new content comes out, you already, well, I, I, I would say most people would be already max TS. So when the new flags come out, you just steamroll it. Right. Especially if you've got good fans, if you've still got epic fans and stuff. Uh, you might struggle a little bit. I don't know, but like I've got, uh, like at that, I think Mega Goose was Aramore, wasn't it? It was like tier eight or something, I think, something like that. So I I had a plus, let's say two or three, Walkum and and just a normal Bobadon or Meaty or whatever the hell I was using at that point and didn't have any issues whatsoever. I think there was one. It might have even been Mega Goose that I died on once while I was doing the new zone video, uh, just cause I ordered everything and I didn't pay attention. And then the next time I did it, it was, it was cake cause I was paying attention. <clears throat> um, but if you get to max TS in a tier, so like I had max TS in tier, uh, tier 10, when the tier 11 flags came out, it wasn't an issue whatsoever. But if you're new and you, you're going up the flags as a new player, then yeah, you've got issues, but get the good fams, get the good TS, get at least a rare above offensive accessory and a defensive pet and you should be fine. Uh, add me if you need help. I'm level 500 with max gear and a legendary accessory pet. Fucking I'll add you. <laughs> monkey bar. 11. Alright, let's look up monkey bar. That's awfully nice of you, man. That's very nice of you to offer that. Monkey bar 11. Okay, he was lying. <laughs> he was lying. <laughs> <clears throat> no, that's a good troll, man. I enjoyed that. It was too good to be true. It was too good to be true. Uh, thanks for the follow. -up. You giant troll. You giant monkey ball tro troll. <laughs> you got got. <laughs> I feel bad. I hit you with a follow. <laughs> thanks. Joshy boy, you're the first sick chicken. How do you feel? Should you use the super scroll today? No. Use If you're going to use the super scroll, there's some rules for that as well. Well, there's no rules, but there's some recommendations for that. Okay, we're done. Not one tilk. What a son of a bitch. Uh, there's some, there's some, um, there's some recommendations for super scrolls or, or bub gores or ultra gores or whatever you want to do. One is to use it on Sunday. Uh, so every day has its bonus. So today is Thursday, and the bonus for today is 50% capture rate. So if we quickly click it. Uh, this is a special thing because the new the new tier came out. So this is special, it's not normally there, but 50% capture rate. So today, even though 50% is like absolutely nothing, technically with this bonus, today is your best chance of catching familiars all week. So, you know, on this day, go for your fams, if you've got any uh, capture rate runes on, chuck them on and go fa familiar hunting. Today is technically your best day for catching familiars. Sunday is 50% item find. So if, uh, technically Sunday is your best day of finding items. Even though those bonuses are really small, uh, they're still bonuses. So one, use your super scroll on a Sunday, if you can. And then two, if you're gonna use the super scroll, make sure that you have a lot of other consumables to use alongside it to make it worthwhile. So for instance, we were talking about before having all these badges, right? Uh, so like if there was an expedition coming out and you wanted to like smash the expedition and, and try and get whatever you were going for, 
then you could use the super scroll and then just use a bunch of badges. Uh, 50 isn't that many, 49, whatever, 50 isn't that many. Um, but so for instance, on Sunday, on the Sunday um, Bit Hero stream, we're gonna use this super scroll and we're gonna use a bunch of these, maybe not three, it depends how much time we have, but you can see, pardon me, you can see here that this increases your raid shards by 20. We already have nine to start the day. Uh, nine is our max raid shards. So uh, we'll have nine and then say we use one of these, we'll have 29 raids. Say we use two of these, we'll have 49 raids. So 49 raids is, or, or three of them will have 69 raids. That's a lot of raids. So using a super scroll uh, for 150% um, item find is worth it if you're gonna go that hard and use all this shit. There's no point doing all of these with just a normal 25% shitty item find scroll. If you're gonna go hard like that, you want a super scroll to get the most bang for your buck. So I recommend not using a super scroll uh, unless you're gonna use an, a, a heap of other shit in conjunction with it so that it's worth it. I also recommend not using a super scroll until you get to max tier because as we talked about before, any gear that you get is just gonna be replaced when you get to the next tier. So there's no real point using it because you're gonna get like say all these legendaries and stuff and then you're not gonna be able to use them and then the next tier is gonna replace them straight away. So if you've got good willpower, I would hoard all that shit. Every time you get a super scroll for free or anytime you get raid shard basket for free or any of that stuff, just hold on to it all. Wait till you get to max TS and then use it all at once and just smash out the next, the max tier and get a bunch of gear, bunch of legendaries and stuff and then you can upgrade and get max tier and stuff. So my recommendation is to not use it and wait. But if you are gonna use it, make sure you've got all that shit to use it with it to make it worthwhile. Uh, when is a good time to start farming for legendary fams? Uh, when you're, I would say, I would say when you're max tier, maybe? I mean, there's, any time is good, really. Depends. Like, capture rate day on Thursday is the best day to go for, for familiars. So, um, you know, if you're working towards, like, if you've got Remy T, I don't think I have a Remy T to, to showcase this. Uh, but I think I have the... Do I even have the fusion? Let's find out. Uh, is this it? No. This is it. I do have one. Okay. Oh, I've made one before. So this is Remy T. This is the upgrade for Ball End. A bunch of damage. Uh, not really that tanky or whatever, but a bunch of damage. And he has uh, a spread heal for teammates. So he's just a better version of Ball End, th th basically. So this is it, right? A bunch of damage, 22.5% damage instead of 15. It's basically just Borland on steroids. Borland has just evolved into some weird acid dripping dinosaur. Uh, still the same spread heal type thing for one SP. He's now got damage to all enemies um, skill and he's got the target damage for two SP thing if you want to. But he's basically just a better, um, a better Borland. So that's Remy T. But say you were going for Walkham for instance, um, for the legendary familiar we're talking about before and you fused him wherever he is we're going past him no there he is he has like a bunch more damage than what Remy T did same kind of health and st um, speed stats he's got 30% in power chance so that means if he hits an empower um, when he does his heal if he hits an empower it's going to be an empowered heal uh, you can see here the heal is for way more as well He's got a 1 SP target enemy instead of a 2 SP target enemy. He's also got a 1 SP hit random enemy. Um, so if there's like two enemies left, this is just going to hit one of them and do massive damage. Or if there's one enemy left, say you're just on the boss or there's one enemy left in PvP or something, you use this instead of this because hitting a random enemy, there's only one enemy to hit. So this is guaranteed to hit that guy. Look at the damage difference. Right, so he's got all these new moves, and then he's got damage to the weakest enemy as well. Weakest enemy is the lowest health enemy. Um, so you can like kill a healer or whatever you want for two SP. So Walkham is a massive upgrade because he has a bigger heal. He has a one SP hit um, target enemy, which is really good. And he has a one SP hit random enemy, which is, uh, as I mentioned, is really good in the, in the right hands. He has empower, so he can do massive heals with empowered heals. So Walkham is a massive upgrade to Remy T. So if you could fuse a Walkham, it would replace Remy T, even like maybe a plus five Remy T, a, a base Walkham might still be better. So you want to make those legendaries um, really as soon as possible. 
but getting the familiars to get you to max tier is more important. But then once you're max tier and you've got up through all those flags and stuff, then you can start working on the, the legendaries. I don't know. Um, work on them work on them as soon as possible within reason is what i would say so i yeah getting getting a welcome or a wembo or whatever it be uh is going to be pretty important uh so hopefully that answered that question that was a bit ambiguous but uh that green chicken really pops right out of the screen i'm gonna i'm gonna replace those badges when i get onto trash uh when we when we work together um but for now it's just a placeholder going on bop i saw you got a legendary before congrats <clears throat> looks good on you uh anytime is a good time even if you can't make the fam yet at least you'll have the fams ready yeah that's true that's true like say you were going for welcome you could get um all the fams ready for it and then once you get the uh, once you get the schematic you can just make him straight away so like zulfa for instance he's going for that glados or whatever the hell it's called and he doesn't have the schematic yet. So if he has all the familiars available to plus five, it say, as soon as he gets the, the schematic, he did it for Walkham as well. As soon as he gets the schematic, bang, he's got a plus five, whatever it is. So don't worry about plus fiving legendary just yet. But if you get all the fams for Walkham as a, as a, just a hypothetical, as soon as you get the schematic, you can just make it. But the schematics are the hard part. If you've got a schematic for a legendary that you're looking to make, then yeah, I'd probably go for it. <clears throat> Uh, I'm currently hanging on Yobo plus one and Squibber plus zero. I have a plus three Eularis as well. Uh, use the, the plus three Eularis or whatever it's called. It's better. I, I, I've, I've been told at least. I don't even know what familiar that is. Um, as I mentioned, I've, I've passed all of the those familiars. I don't need them anymore. And I've passed all the flags and stuff. So I don't really pay attention to them or if they're good or whatever. Because I, I, I don't need them. I have no, no need of knowledge for them. But I hear Eularis is pretty good. Uh, how does a fully upgraded set weapon compare to a fully upgraded epic weapon of the same tier? A set weapon has the same TS as a legendary. So a legendary and a set is going to have the exact same TS. And if you don't have more of that set, um, if you just have the one piece of the set, it's it's just a legendary. It's the same thing, but more expensive to make. So it's effectively a, a legendary. So it's better than, a, than an epic, but it costs a shitload to upgrade. So if you're if you're progressing through the campaign and stuff, and you're getting from zone to zone. There's no point making it. <clears throat> What's good tier eleven setup? I think uh, Glados with Melborg could be interesting. Apparently, Glados is the best tank in the game at the moment, best bait tank in the game at the moment. So if you can make a Glados and stable and stuff, then definitely do so. Melborg, I don't know what that is. Uh, it's a healer, but I don't I don't know the stats and stuff of it. Um. Melborg is actually only good with attack brains. His base damage is sad, with a little lacking. Uh, are we in the Chook versus shouting out Chook's awesome Discord channel? Uh, you can. You can, if you exclamation mark Discord, it'll give the link. Uh, I got the dang Quags skim 20 minutes ago, <laughs> or World Boss. Ex uh, Except GLaDOS. You need 15 tilks still? Okay. I've GLaDOS and it will make a plus 5 myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the on the way to doing that. I have 270 on neural net ROMs though. Holy shit. I got maybe 100 of the net ROMs. I have 10. So, you know, it's a long way to go for me. I didn't have the scam, but I had all the fans to make him instantly as soon as I got the scam for it. Nice. GLaDOS is one of the best bait tanks to go for it. yeah uh just hit level 320 nice congrats dude uh, i forgot i was running my hearthstone arena match in the background and through the game <laughs> i stopped playing the game a while ago but there's better people here you should ask everyone here knows more about the game than i do everyone knows here knows more about everything than you do you're a scrub and you can't get no love from me. Yeah, yeah, we've got a few, um, we've got a few commands. We've got, uh, exclamation mark Discord, we'll bring up the Discord link. Exclamation mark YouTube, we'll bring up the YouTube link. Uh, if you're lurking, you can do exclamation mark lurk. 
And uh, yeah, there's a few other commands that I can't think of off the top of my head. But um, those are the, those are the main ones. How's the new build working for you? Uh, well, it's not yet. <laughs> I've got I, luckily I got one set piece, which was really good. Um, but I don't have any other set pieces yet, and I don't have anywhere near enough um, legendaries to break down to upgrade it or whatever. So at the moment, still just um, you know working towards it. But it's been one week, so I've actually been for me I've been really really lucky for for a week. Like my RNG is horrible, as everyone knows. But my, my bad RNG makes everyone else's better, which I'm happy about, because I'm here to help. That's that's the whole reason I, I do all of this, is to help. You didn't ask my input? You don't need to ask. I'm going to give it anyway. I'll input my dick in your ass. That's what I'll do. Should I try for Bobadom, or is another fan better? Um, you're free to play? There's definitely better familiars, but Bobadom's really easy to fuse. I meant mine since you're using me. Oh, right. I see what you mean. Uh, yeah, it's good, man. It's good. You're killing it. Have you got upgrades yet? Have you? Like, I haven't checked you in a little bit. Where are you? Oh, yeah. You got the new set and stuff. Look at this guy. What a beast. What a fucking beast. So he's got max that and max this. Is this up geared? Up -tier? Oh, it is. Is this up tier? No. What a scrub. You can't even up tier Star Wars. Jesus. What are you good for? Uh, yeah, you're killing it, man. Although, didn't you have, um, Dumb Glim? You changed out of Dumb Glim? Why, why is that? Isn't Dumb Glim, like, the tits at the moment? Um. Bobanom is good for a start, but later game there's some other choices. I spent all my first week's consumables and even Ultra Gold to finish the Star Wii farming. You're amazing on my raid team? Yeah, he's, he's pretty fucking good. I love you no homo. <laughs> you can love me homo, I don't mind. I'm not I'm not homophobic. I do talk about dicks a lot too. Even though I'm married to the love of my life woman. I do talk about dicks a lot. Um I'm free to play, but I'm not sure which legendary tank to start going for. Bobadom's a good start, yeah. Bobadom's really easy to fuse. We can go through that as well. Um I'll I'll show you in a sec. Two is good for new raid. You're, you're good for me. Oh. If you need a friend, i got spots in my name, my uh, game. My name's Lawmeister. I'll get there. i got 2,650 mats. So Toe is better for the new raid uh, since heal is dropped more than shield. Stumblem is better for Toral's Gauntlet and World Boss. Yeah, that 15% damage no matter what is a giant dick in the ass. Right, I'm talking about dicks. Right? It just, like, doesn't matter how good you are. It's just like, nope. You get three of them, and you're just like, all of a sudden, you're down to 50% health. It's like, fuck you, you stupid pedophile. Heals are better than shielders in the new raid, so Dumb Gleam is good, but not great, unfortunately. Heals are better than shielders? But he Gun Dumb Gleam is a healer, isn't he? Or is he a pure shielder? I thought he was a healer. No, 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 he's a shielder, yes. That's right, that's very true. Um... Yeah, so Bobadom, right? Let's, let's take a look. Oh, actually, we need to get out of raid first. Then we'll take a look. Not one familiar pers- Oh no, actually, we had it set on not, um, decline. So technically there was that one dude that came up for persuasion. But not one tilk or one anything. Good old capture eight. What a day. What a freaking day. Okay, <clears throat> let's take a look. So, let's say you were going to fuse a tank. And let's say you were going to fuse... Um, let's say you were going to fuse Meaty, for instance. You need <clears throat> 15 Hobbit Fit, which is the like upgrade material from All Ag Clan. You need a Velk, which is 6 Stouses and I think also 10 Hobbit Feet. And then you need 2 Garricks, which is a Raid Fam, no, a, a Dungeon Fam and some other hobbit feet so to fuse this guy is a really fucking expensive super expensive to fuse um roleska you need uh oh god i can't remember what these are but this is this is the the octopus from raid three and something else um this is dryad and something else and this is 
Okay, is this Drifin? Maybe? And something else? I don't know, so that's kind of hard to make. Because you need a bunch of shit. Uh, Wembo, for instance. Not that he's a tank, but Wembo, for instance. You need a Squib, which is a, a raid epic. You need a Warfin, which is um, Drifin, who's a raid epic, etc. Raid epics are hard to get. Da -da 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 -da. Why Bobadom's good is he only needs one raid epic. He only needs um, Ragnar from raid one. That's it. And then he needs a Wardy here. Uh, a Blubber, sorry, there. He needs a a uh, Yeti here. And he needs a um, Nosdudu here with some epics or, or commons or whatever it is. But he needs three dungeon epics, which are way, way easier to get and only one raid epic. So he's really easy to fuse. Um, and so he's easier to stable and stuff. Whereas like Walken, for instance, my healer, was a Velk, which as we talked about was 10 Hobbit feet. So to, to max this guy out to plus five, you need 60 Hobbit feet, which is ridiculous. Uh, you need a um, Melvins or whatever they're called from raid four. And you need a Driffin as well. So you need six Driffins and six Melvins, both of which are raid epics, which are hard to get. And then 60 Hobbit feet. So this guy's like ridiculously expensive uh, for a legendary to fuse. Uh, but Bobadom is relatively cheap and relatively easy, so that's why Bobadom is a good choice for free to play and for early uh, for game people trying to get a legendary early and all that sort of stuff. And that's why I have him. Um, but once I get this Glardosy thing made, probably replace him. But um, yeah, considering he's plus three already, and all I need to plus five him is two Ragnars. That's why I'm doing raid one still. Like may as well max him out. I'm that close to maxing him out. I may as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helped. Uh, Dumb Gloom is shield only. 15% health drop on everybody each time you uh, you hit a new enemy. Keeps your HP falling more than your shields. Yeah. Yeah. Because it ignores the shields, right? Stupid pedophile. What a guy. Should I bribe Columbus? No. Nope. Just, um, just persuade. Just the gold. The gold thing. Pr pretty much all the legendaries these days are not worth bribing. Because everything at the moment, uh, is to do with stabling. Right? And all the, all the fusions with legendaries in, um, are really hard to stable because you're going to need six of that legendary so you would need six columbuses uh mimsy is probably the worst one you could have done too mimsy's really bad <laughs> um but yeah there, to, to stable to stable them you need like six of them so like to stable oxlaroth or oxlaroth whatever the hell he's called you need you need uh six astroths and you need six oxlers oxes whatever that's never gonna happen it's just never gonna happen so yeah Pretty much all the legendary fans these days are not worth capturing, are not worth bribing. If you can capture them with, with just gold, then, you know, hell yeah, free. Um, but yeah, don't spend gems. I, I don't spend gems on any familiar. I save them all for opening boxes so I can get disappointed in not getting my accessory. Or buying like super scrolls and raid shard baskets and all that sort of stuff. Much, much more useful. <clears throat> unless, unless I needed like one more Ragnar to plus five um, Bobadom and I just I just couldn't be bothered anymore. It's like uh, 800 gems and it's done and I don't need to do in this anymore. I might do it. Or alternatively, if you were going for Bobadom and you had everything else and all you needed was one Ragnar to do it, uh, it's worth it because then you, you buying, buying, bribing, whatever that Ragnar for 100% means that you will 100% get a Bobadom, which will be an upgrade on whatever you're using. It's worth it. But as a free to play, at least, I wouldn't spend gems on um, familiars because you, you're going to get them eventually you're going to get them like war of attrition like eventually i'm going to get these two ragnars um and saving all those gems you can buy other stuff but it all depends on your willpower and uh how frustrated you get <clears throat> should i solo all ag will boss to get hobbit feet uh hobbit feet doesn't matter what difficulty you do 
and what tier you do. So you could do tier four or whatever it is, where, wherever World Boss starts, tier three, and you could do it on normal or you could do it on heroic. It, it, it doesn't matter. There's no there's no difference on what tier and, and what difficulty. So if you can solo or lag, you may as well. Unless you're going for gear, in which case, if you're going for gear, then just do the highest tier you can with, with teammates. Um, but if you're if you're not going for gear, just solo it by yourself. Uh, you got to bounce for a bit. Be back uh, later. Okay, dude. This is the last raid anyway, um, and then we'll be going to back to um, Nino Kuni too. Um, in Genus, actually, with the Mythic scam has eighty percent block, and with some decent augments, it would be a hundred percent block and some DR. Jesus. Uh, Chuck, today's mark one year of playing Beat Heroes for me. Really? Fuck your OP, dude. <laughs> nice. It's very nice. I've been playing for two and a half, and I'm a scrub. Should buy some packs or something. Yeah, you should. You should sing sing um, the song of your people up, up uh, top of a mountaintop. Just uh, take your nine cats and get them to sing their song of their people at top of a mountaintop. And you'll love it. The guild hall is full, yeah, it is. But take a look. We're down to 23 out of 27. Uh, so yeah, again, plugging right now. Anyone in stream right now, or anyone on YouTube watching, if you're interested in coming to Iconic, we have Max uh, PvP tickets, Max um, Expedition, uh, sorry, Max Expedition or Invasion or GVG badges, Max um, Trials Gauntlet tokens and max raid shard baskets, uh, raid shards, sorry. And we're working on uh, ex experience right now and item find as well. So we got really, really good perks. Uh, so if you're interested in coming to Iconic, then um, let me know, send me a private message on my Discord and uh, I can vet, you know, the people who can make it and who can't, all that type of thing. We're looking for people at Endgame. Uh, so if you, you know, if you're in tier one, two, three, all that sort of stuff, then I can tell you now you, you won't be accepted. Uh, but if you're in the end game type area and you're looking for um, a, a guild full of friendly people to start with, but also really good perks, max perks, then let me know. Apply and uh, I'll talk to Eagle and um, and see if we can get you in. It'd be pretty good because we're trying to recruit right now. So if you're interested, then uh, yeah, send me a message on Discord. Um, I would join, but I'm in Lagu and they're nice and I have Derpy. Nice. We're in the end game now. Uh, are you aiming for a legendary accessory? Yeah, I have been the whole time, but one in particular. So my whole my whole deal is dual strike. I got thirty seven point four percent dual strike. Like my whole build is revolving around dual strike. Um, and I have the best epic uh, accessory for me, which is eighteen percent dual strike. So this is uh, the best epic. The only thing better than this for me would be Melvin Champ, which is one of the oldest accessories that are. I don't think we can see it right now. No, we can't. Um, but it has 20, 21, 22% dual strike and some crit on it as well. So even just at, at base level, it's got 4%. I'm going to say 4%. Um, maybe it's 20%. I don't know. It's Either way, it's got more dual strike, uh, just base unupgraded than a fully upgraded epic. So that's the only legendary accessory that I want. I mean, I'll, if I get others, I'd have to do the math on whether I want to use it or not, but I stack dual strike just as my thing. So yeah, I want I want as high dual strike as I possibly can. Melvin Champ is the only one that will improve the dual strike I have. So yes, I want Melvin, Melvin Champ and that's what I'm going for. But the eggs that come out have like I don't know, 10, 10 legendaries or something in there, and Melvin Champ is one of them, and there's a 3.4% chance of getting a legendary. So there's a 3.4 chance of getting a legendary, and that legendary is a 1 in 10 chance of getting the one I want. Whatever math that be, um, it's not good. So yeah, I'm, I'm basically never going to get it, but it's not too bad, because this is really good for me. Um, but if I got it, holy shit, I'd be pretty excited. Uh, do you think Goldwing's Chivalry are good? What the hell's Goldwing's Chivalry? Is that the one we were just looking at before? No, I don't know what that is. Um, is that the new one? Is that the the dual strike and power new accessory? If so, yeah, that's pretty good. Dual strike and empower the best two DPS um, modifiers you can get. 
Oh, defensive wings. Oh, then I don't know. I know nothing about defense tank or anything. I, I don't pay any attention. Because uh, it's not important to me. So I, I just don't care. Oh, that's a pet. What am I doing? Defensive. Where is it? Defensive. Pet. Offensive accessory. Defensive accessory. Large defensive. Yeah, this one. Damage reduction absorb. Oh yeah, I remember seeing this. Damage reduction is really good. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know tank stats and stuff really that well and what, what's the best and whatnot, but I would say that's pretty good. 4% uh, less damage is kind of shitty, but, uh, you know, it is what it is to, to get the other stats, uh, really good other stats. But DR is really good. Um, I don't know about Absorb, I don't know much about it. But uh, I would say that it's pretty good. But yeah, I would ask a tank more. That, that would be my advice, but it seems pretty good. It's good for late game tanks. Um, have they capped DR, so you can put that on to get extra Absorb with capping DR. 4% less damage reduction and 3% more Absorb than Yeti Head. Okay, then yeah, it's really good then. If it's better than Trophy, then it's pretty damn good. So yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I think we're out of regen, right? Oh, we've got two minutes nineteen till a new a new dungeon. We don't need to do natural regen anymore on these because we've got plus five now, so we can just knock it all those out in the way at the start. Um, we can just talk for for two minutes and we can do one more one more dungeon. That'd be pretty good. Um. Yeah, so there's 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 a new accessory, or is it that one I was looking at before? Is it this one? No, it's not this one. There's a new accessory that has um, twelve percent jewel strike and twelve percent in power, or is it an old accessory? I don't think it's what William has. Yeah, because that's got crit on it as well. It's a different one. I'm pretty sure it's twelve, twelve and a half, twelve and a half jewel and jewel strike and in power. That would be really good. Uh, love the stream when I'm not busy. Good stream tonight. Thanks, guys. That's very nice of you. So after this, we're going to go back to Nino Kuni 2. Uh, so anyone that's that's uh, was watching that before or is keen to watch some Nino Kuni 2, then uh, stick around. Should be pretty good. I'll probably it's 11:34 a.m. So it's almost it's almost midday. I'll probably go and after this is finished, um, and go get some lunch quickly, and then I got to set up everything recording everything back to the ps4 which is a giant pain in the ass so once we finish this stream give me like 10 minutes before we start the next one um but we'll go back to nino kuni 2 for like two or three hours and uh and then we'll, we'll call it a day but then tomorrow um i don't think i've got much plans for tomorrow so we'll be back uh doing nino kuni 2 tomorrow as well but for now we need 30 seconds and then we can do one more, one more is. Anyway, Josh, go have lunch, and I'll see you uh, when you get back. <laughs> nice stream, thanks. Yeah, I wish I could do, uh, speaking of trash, I was talking about him before. I wish I could do longer streams, um, but because, <clears throat> pardon me, because I'm free to play, I don't have the ability to do, like, you know, chuck a rage hard basket down, you know, every every day to stream or, you know, have an ultra gore on and do a bunch of badges or whatever it be, like um like pay to win people can. So I can only do what I can do, uh, as far as natural regen goes. And to give you an idea of what that means is this. Uh so server reset, daily reset, whatever you want to call it, is 10 a.m. for me. <clears throat> so I've done the math, and for 10 a.m. Uh, to have nine raid shard baskets at 10 a.m., I need to, the last raid I can do the day before is at 4 p.m. So from 4 p.m. onwards, so today's um, Thursday, so from 4 p.m. at on Wednesday, I can't play, I can't do any more raids. So I have nine ready to go for today. And to full, have full energy for today, I need to um, not use any energy from midnight Tuesday turning into Wednesday. So at like... At 12.01 a.m., like the very, like one minute into Wednesday, I can't use any energy from then to 10 a.m. Um, the next day. So effectively, you know, 
you can't do any any energy dungeons world boss or anything for like a day and a half and you can't do any raids and all that sort of stuff for you know like 16 hours or something so like almost a day <clears throat> to have full resources to be able to go and, and do a, a recording or a stream or something and that's for free to play so like and that's just for you know nine raids and, and whatever it is dungeons so you know i can't really do a longer video than that a longer stream than that because i have to wait all that time just to get that and then i don't have the pay to win um consumables and stuff to do extra stuff um so that's why sunday we're going to use the super scroll on those raid chart baskets and stuff that i managed to buy with gems and that's why we're going to have a longer stream on sunday but in general yeah i basically can't, can't play for a day and a half before a stream just to make everything regen it's pretty shit uh technically you could energy from watching ads on mobile every 15 minutes but that's a lot of waiting for yeah nah that's not gonna happen i do that every time an ad comes up on mobile uh, while i'm playing I, I watch every single one um but yeah it, it's it's a grind of time just to be able to play um be heroes with natural regen it's a free to play player it takes a long ass time looking forward to sunday me too me too hopefully we can get some gear that would be pretty good um hopefully we can get another if we could get all four all four sets or the other three sets on uh sunday wouldn't that be something holy shit that'd be pretty damn good but we'll have to see what happens either way that is it for now uh yeah nino cooney people stick around 10 minutes or so and we'll start that otherwise if you're just here for bit heroes um then on daily reset on sunday we'll be back and i uh, will go pretty hard but that'll be like multiple hours probably three or four hours bit hero stream on sunday It'll be a long stream. Yeah, it will, really will be. Successful capture rate day. Oh, so good. As always. <laughs> good luck on Sunday. Looking forward to it. All right. Cool. I'll see you then. Bye.